It's obvious by now that there are a lot of people, especially on the right, who like to overblow a number of stories. One example would be how Jordan Peterson blew up in Canada the C-16 bill to try to make it sound like, well, anyone who accidentally misgenders someone could, could be thrown in jail. That's not how it works, but people like Jordan Peterson sure made a lot of people afraid. It also increased a lot of hateful attitudes towards transgender people. It was quite unfortunate. But now there is a story about the UK and medical treatment that's being way overblown by Breitbart, The Daily Caller, Red Elephant's Vincent James, and a number of other right-wing trash. It has to do with upcoming changes in the UK regarding the treatment of medical professionals and how they have to deal with a lot of harassment. These right-wing pundits are making it sound as though if someone is deemed to be racist or homophobic or sexist, that they can be denied service by hospitals. As if there's some database or some questionnaire that goes around that uh, will test people or something. That simply having bigoted beliefs can take away your rights. It doesn't work that way. The truth of the matter is that in the UK, come April, if someone treats a medical professional like shit over their race or gender or sexual orientation, that the person who's being treated like shit can deny the person service, with the exception of, you know, emergency services. This means, for instance, that you can't make a bunch of sexist comments to a woman who's trying to help you or she can deny you the service that she's been giving you. This is all about reducing the harassment of medical professionals. It's not about looking in some database to see whether you have bigoted beliefs. They're not going to quiz you about your beliefs. Stay calm. <laughs>